Today I'm going to show you how to use the related post feature in Link Whisper. So the first thing you need to do is log into the back end of your site. Go to Link Whisper settings and then in the menus go to widget settings and that's it. Activate related post widgets. I mean initially when you get here it'll look like this. You will turn that on and it will be defaulted for post and pages. So it depends on if you're using post or you're using pages. You can select which one you want or both. On Link Whisper we use post so we'll turn pages off. You can select your title. You can make it say whatever you want. You can select the H tag that you want for the title for the widget. If you want to add a description here and then you can select to use thumbnails. And if you use thumbnails, you can put the thumbnail above the link text below. You can decide how you want that the layout to be. And then you can also set your thumbnail size by default at zero. But then once you preview it, you can decide if you want to make it bigger, smaller, whatever you need to do to get it to fit your site. And then there's also the margin settings. So if your thumbnails are too close to the title, you can add more top margin. Or if you need to add more bottom margin for ad placement or something like that. And just so you can see a preview, Spencer on nichepursuits.com. He has the images related posts. And so like he added a little margin here, a little margin here. Now really clean, quick few minutes set up right there for him and then you can decide if you want to link whisper to automatically select related post for you or if you have certain articles that you want to link you can manually select them and then you can pick which articles you want to link to and then you can also set it to link by based on tags based on categories or matching terms and then you can existing link policy you can link freely to all posts or don't link to post that the current post already has an internal link for. So this way here you could get more internal links linked to posts that you already linked to. So uh, tons of different options of how you could set this up. And then the number of links you want to display, which just depending on the width of your site, you know, check it on, on all the devices, see how it looks. And if you were doing thumbnails, you're going to want to go with a row. Spencer has a single row here. They're going to come this way. If you do column, it's going to be vertical, which would look a little funny with images. But if you do bullet list, then I would recommend the single column, which is what we use on Link Whisper. So I turn the thumbnails off. I do single column. I'll do five and then we can just preview related post and you can see here related post and there it is. If you like what you got, you just save your settings and that's it. So if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or you can email us at support at linkwhisper.com. We'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.